Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this mechanism of power transmission with Vival gear in Swordfox. So let's start. So as you can see that I am in assembly mode. So I am going to make my you know whole mechanism and design in assembly mode. Okay. So first let's close this. So first thing I will go to, go to design library, click on toolbox, click on edit now. Now what you have to do is uh, click on NSI metric, click on power transmission, click on gears. So I am going to use Bevel gear. So drag and drop. Now as you can see that I already have some uh, pre-configured properties so make sure that you also have the same. So make sure that your gear has module of 1, number of teeth and pinion number of teeth is 30. Make sure they are both same as you will face gear meshing issues that onwards. And these are the other properties as per your requirements. Okay. So click OK. Now we need uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 gears total. So we need total 5 gears, okay? Uh, we will use one by one, so don't worry about it. So first thing we have to do is select the top plane, click on sketch. So first I will create some sketch uh, so that I can use reference and you know use these use mates to align these gears at perfect location. So click on uh, sketch center line. Make sure that you are selecting this origin and draw a line as per your requirement. Similarly draw a, this line. Now exit the sketch mode. Click on mate. Select this face. Select this line, make sure it's concentric, click OK. You can see I am getting some issues. The question is why? So here's the thing, by default these parts are fixed, so I can't move it. So first right click on it and click on float. So now I can move it as you can see. My PC is not that good so it's a little bit laggy. So click on concentric, OK and click OK. One more thing that you have to do is uh, select this one and this line make it concentric as well. Click OK. Now I want to be correctly you know place here so what I can do so what you have to do is go to the gears and right click on it click on show uh, you see this point so we are going to use this point so click on mate Select this point and select this point. Make it coincide. Select this point and this point. Make it coincident as well. Now you see my gears are totally aligned plus they are also correctly uh, mesh with each other. So this is the best thing. Now what I have to do is I have to create something called shaft. So what I can do is for that click on here, click on new part and Let's see, we are on the back plane and select the front plane. Press Ctrl plus 8. Just to know that, make sure your no external references is checked on, else you will face a lot of issues that onwards. So click on circle, draw a circle as per your requirement. So features extrude. Uh, let's say I will extrude here 50 mm. Or oh, let's say. 80 mm is in good, 80 mm and in direction 2 I will extend 100 mm. Okay, let's say 80 mm here as well. Hmm. It looks fine to me. Click OK. Uh, select this, press F2 and give it a name. So I am going to give it is uh, driving shaft. Okay, 
and click on exit edit assembly component uh, before i do exit as edit assembly component let's make some more things so click on top plane click on sketch and i'm going to add just a simple rectangle uh, a question is why i'm adding that uh, the reason is that when this gear rotate you will uh, the shot will look like it is not rotating so this rectangle will have to visualize yeah that it is rotating okay uh, nothing more than that 10 mm i think is fine 10 mm is fine and click on exit uh, edit assembly component mode now what you have to do is click on mates select this face and this face make sure it's concentric and click on lock rotation so if this gear rotates this chart will also going to be rotate and vice versa click ok and click ok now what i'm going to do is select this move it backward now rotate now go to the mates select this face and this face this line basically and click on concentric click ok similarly uh, i have to draw a line basically you know so that i can merge this in. so what i can do is select this sketch click on sketch let's give it some distance so let's say i want to transfer this power up to 150 okay uh one hundred is too big i guess one twenty is fine and exit the edge sketch what i can do now click on mates select this point and this point click ok uh, i forgot to add some things so right click on it click on sketch uh, i basically forgot to add uh, you know this vertical line because without that uh, it is difficult for me to align other gears draw a simple line click on it and make it for construction geometry exit the sketch mode click on mates again select this line and this line click ok select this point and this point click ok as you can see this gear is not popular line so just move it as per a requirement ok now this looks good Similarly, select this line and this line. Uh, click on here to reverse the direction. Click OK. Select this point and this point. Click OK. Let's see whether it's properly mesh or not. OK, it's not properly mesh. So simply drag. As you can see, it's properly mesh now. Click OK. Now I need a shaft here. So what I can do? click on here click on new part and let's see which plane is right click on right plane press ctrl plus 8 draw a circle go to the features click on extrude it's in reverse direction click on offset reverse section and let's make it 100 mm hmm, looks uh, good, good to me click ok and exit select this shot and let's rename it uh, transmission shot now what I can do is by pressing control right click on my mouse drag this part okay uh, by pressing control right click on mouse drag this why it's not okay now it's normal now what I will do to the mates select this and this face make sure it's concentric and click on low rotation after that select this face and this face click ok now 
what I will do? I have, you know, added all these things. Now, the main thing that I need to do is, is to use gear constraints. So click on mates and click on mechanical, click on gear, select a circular face, let's say this one and this one. Okay. And let's see it is working or not. You can see it is working fine. That uh, what the result uh, it, is, it is giving me desired result. So click OK. Before I click OK, a question has your mind that I am not changing the gear ratio values or you know. So here is the thing. These two gears have same number of teeth and same number and same modules. So there is no need to change the gear ratio. So gear ratio is one. It doesn't matter if I put hundred by hundred ratio. If the ratio value is one ratio one. That will be fine because in my case the gear ratio is one so click ok now similarly we will do here so click on here select this edge and this edge now let's try to rotate okay giving my correct result so click ok now let's adjust a little bit here So again, gear, select this one and this one. Let's see if it's giving a correct result or not. Yep, it's correctly meshing. So click OK. Now I don't need these sketches, uh, it's look quite you know, awkward thing. So I will go here, right click on it and click on hide. As you can see, they are all now, they are now hiding. Now let's create a base on which these all things are supported. So what I can do is click on here, click on new part, select the top plane, press control plus 8. Enter the value of 200. Let's say this is 120. So distance from here to here is 60. And what I can do is uh, select this line and this. One. So let's make it 40. Go to the features, click on extrude, click on reverse direction, enter the value as per requirement. For me, 5 is fine. Click OK. Select this base. Uh, first, add it as you decide is some of the components. Select this base and move it downwards. So I think up to this point is fine. Now what I will do, I will add supporters for these things. So let's see how I close this. So click on new part. Select the front plane. Press Ctrl plus 8. So draw a circle here. Draw a circle again. Uh, not a circle. Let's draw a center rectangle. I think up to this, uh, this much is fine. After that, I will draw a corner rectangle. Fifty. Press Control Z. First, give the dimension. Uh, delete this dimension first, and give the dimension to this one, so that others will not, you know. 100, 25, uh, 31, 0, 7.2, 
sound point to have been fine. Sound point is fine. Click OK and go to the feature such tool. Select this and this one. Uh, next sex to to 10 mm. Click OK. Exit the design component mode. Select this part and move it to this direction. Click on mates, select this face and this face. Click OK. After that, click on here, click on linear components, select this face, edge, and components to pattern is this one. Increase the number of components to 2, reverse direction, increase the distance. Similarly, in direction to select this edge, click on reverse direction, click to senses, increase the distance as per your requirement, click OK. Uh, so, this is how to flex. Now, if I want to rotate it, what I can do is uh, go to the motion study, click on motor, select this face. Uh, Let's say it is 20 rpm. Click OK. Go ahead. Increase the FPS for better quality result. Let's say 30. Now click on calculate. Uh, notice something that our animation is not passing. So let's see what's the issue before I do anything else. So I will set this gear. Means it's concentric to it but not log rotation. So basically I want the log rotation. Click OK. Form section by everyone. So click on here. Hmm. Sometimes animation is no less try basic motion. Just create a new motion. Before I do this, you know try to let's see whether it's working or not it's a fixed one let's see what's the issue there's issue some mates okay dms if i delete this Okay, let's see what's the issue. Mate, figure, mechanical, gear, this such, and this such. So if I try to rotate it, the selected components will be defined. Okay, why it's popping up? Should not be here. So I think I made some mistakes in mates. Just try to understand where it is. Okay, this one is not to be concentric. So log rotation. Basically, uh, the mistake is done by me is that. I uh, concentrate with the sketch, not with the shaft. So that is my fault. So sorry for that. So what I can do right now is uh, this one is right. Right click on it and delete. Go to the this one. Select this face and this face. Concentric and log rotation. For some reason, I don't know why it's moved forward. So. Let's make it a correct place. So, where it is. Uh, select this face and this face. Let's do make sure it is actually there. Click on distance. Uh, let's say 3mm. 
Okay, I'm fine. Click OK. So uh, now I need to add a gear mid. So what I can do is uh, mechanical just you know mistakes are the parts of the life so don't take it as a big issue but here is another thing that it is rotating but this one is not rotating so what I can do let's see Let's go to this part and let's see our let's see all its needs. Let's select this one. Okay, my bad. Uh, this one is not correctly you know made with this one. So what I have to do is click on mates, clear face, and select this face and this face. Make it lock rotation. Click OK. Similarly, I think I forgot to add here as well. No, no, I guess I added it. Let's try to see first. Yeah, it's working right now. So let's try to do the animation. We'll go to the motion study. Click on no, let's create a new motion study. Forget about these first and second. I click delete. Delete motion study. Click on motor. Select this space. Let's say 20 rpm. Click OK. Go to the this and increase the RPS to 30. Click OK. Let's make it 10 second animation. Uh, right click on it. Click on disable. Uh, I think this will looks good. Click on calculate. click on play you can see the animation is now playing smoothly and the gear are correctly machined with each other so. so that's how you can make you know this kind of project so i hope you learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask and make sure guys to check out my free solvers course link in description if you want to learn about more about engineering things or solver simulation thing so check out my link in description and thanks for watching and have a great day namaste